Seen when I am sad. So welcome to the channel I learned from YouTube. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of the very important phrases of English language that you need to understand. And these are simple phrases that we use in our day-to-day -day life. So it's really important that you remember all of them and what they mean. And moreover, for people who are learning to you know, speak English, written, spoken, whatever, it's really important that they know all of these phrases because you don't want to be embarrassed in front of your friend or someone else, you know, when you don't know the meaning of the phrases, right? Let's say, for example, uh, you are discussing with your friend and you are pitching him about an idea or something. And then he says, my friend, you sold me. You sold me, it's a phrase, right? Which means that whatever you just said, I believe in you and I completely trust you, so I'm ready for it. But you don't know the meaning of that phrase. You don't know what you sold me means. And then you are left there scratching your head just trying to think hard. What does it mean you sold me? Right? I didn't sell him anything. And why did he say that I sold him something? Don't be that guy. You need to remember all these kind of phrases. All right, one more example. All right? Okay. Uh, let's say. All right, you're making me nuts. All right, your friend tells you that you're making me nuts. And then you're sitting over there trying to think what it means. I didn't make any nuts or anything like that. He's sitting there like a donkey, you know. These are simple phrases and most people they don't understand or they, most people they don't use it. But these are very simple day-to-day -day stuff that we all need to understand right so we'll move on to the video <laughs>
continuously grow, go, going process ongoing process so in that process next year you can all or you can give the examination so instead of crying about it that you failed in this year why not go and try it for the next year right it's not the end of the world you can still do it all right next one is cheer up man cheer up means simple it's very simple cheer up man it means be happy or try to smile understood whatever happened happened okay your girlfriend left you <laughs> that happens cheer up don't waste your time thinking about that all right so just cheer up next one that's amazing that's amazing is a phrase which refers to that is amazing just short shortened a little bit so that is amazing means it is good it was absolutely brilliant absolutely great so that is amazing and you say that's amazing next one lucky you lucky you what does it mean it means that you did something really really nice or something happened to you or you won a lottery let's say you and your friend you have taken a lottery from a same store all right but you win a thousand dollars and your friend doesn't win any amount so your friend is saying lucky you so that means it's your good luck that we bought from this we bought the lotteries from the same store at the same time but it's you who won so that means you are very lucky so lucky you all right so the next phrase that we are going to talk about is you should go the extra mile you should go the extra mile that means you need to put a little bit more effort all right let's say you the same example examination you got 90 out of 100 so you should go the extra mile if you try to study a little bit more than what you have been doing then you might be able to get the full marks so you should go the extra mile whatever efforts that you have put in now you need to put a little bit more effort to make it successful that's what it means the next one is i freaked out it means i was genuinely scared or surprised when something happens all of a sudden you get freaked out so let's say you're walking in the forest and then you suddenly see a snake all right so you said i freaked out i saw a snake in the jungle or i freaked out someone was standing right behind me right so that means you are genuinely scared it's kind of a sudden moment that happens that will freak you out all right you don't think right at that moment all right next one is this is a no-brainer no-brainer it, uh, it itself gives the answers that means you don't have to put your brain to it all right you don't have to think about it it's a very easy matter let's say someone is offering you a hundred bucks or an iPhone 11 what do you choose of course you choose the iPhone 11 it's a no-brainer that means you don't have to think about it you know it so that's a no-brainer don't have to use your mind all right uh, let's move to the next one can you cover me can you cover me it literally doesn't mean to cover you all right so let's say let's take an example uh, you ask your friend to cover you for tonight for that night let's say you both are bartenders all right and then it's your friend's uh, duty as the night job and your friend comes to you and then says can you cover me for tonight and then you say yes I can do that so what it means it means your friend is asking you to cover for him that means to work for him that particular night understood so cover me can you cover me means can you do it for me so that the boss doesn't find out that both of us are missing at least one should be there so can you cover for me tonight all right next one is I'd better be going I'd better be going that means I think it's time I should leave now the next one pull yourself together 
doesn't mean to just you know pull literally all right pull yourself together it means calm down don't be angry don't worry and then gather your thoughts all right don't be agitated or don't be angry just calm down and think for a while so pull yourself together means get yourself together in your mind be calm and then be humble all right next one couldn't care less couldn't care less that means you have no interest in something that someone is talking to you about all right so when uh, when uh, you when your friend is saying did you watch the movie x men last night and you say couldn't care less that means i was not interested and i am still not interested in that movie so i couldn't care less what you did or what the movie was so it doesn't matter to me all right so this is the end of the video and i request you guys to please subscribe to the channel because we are going to bring this kind of videos every week or every two or three days so if you guys uh, give me a, at least a hundred likes in this video i promise that i'll prepare a second video on the same topic and then uh, further we'll also be talking about spoken english fluency written english and all that so just subscribe to the channel and just hit the bell notification on so that you don't miss any important updates for my channel in the soon future all right you sold me bye i think i sold you right my channel